with Jay-Z when Hova declares it like this. My mind's been through hell. My neighborhood climbs central where cops lock you up. Rather than trying to defend you, you feel that, don't you? Because that's exactly what happens in this life. And your name may not be Michael. If your name may not be Michael Phillips, it may not be Eric Garner, but you've been there in situations where life has put a chokehold on you. You've been in circumstances beyond your control that left your life spinning out of control. You have found yourself discovering that life is unfair and life is unjust and that is exactly what is happening in our text. The psalmist is sharing a, a song, this particular song, uh, by way of context, there is some discussion. Some say it's a song of, it's a psalm of a sense in that persons were pilgriming making their way up to the holy city during a festival. Others were saying this is a psalm uh, that took place post-exile in that you had people of faith who found themselves on their way back home and when they got back home they could not help but give a song a celebration of what God had done by way of deliverance it is an impressive psalm the 107th psalm shouts me because it speaks of the fact that no matter how desperate your situation God has a way of stepping in right in the nick of time and giving you just what you need. As a matter of fact, the psalmist is singing that God has a way of showing up and showing out. And when God shows up, God wants you to witness the work of God, especially when you feel like you are handcuffed by helplessness. You are at wit's end. There is nothing that you can do. I got to stop right there. At wit's end. This is my younger service, so y'all have probably never ever heard the phrase at wit's wit's end. At wit's end is basically by way of the Hebrew rendering in this passage. It means that their wisdom was swallowed up. It simply means, watch this, that everything they knew to do, they had tried to do it, but nothing was working. Y'all missing your shout because if you live long enough, baby Baba, I don't care how smart you are, how sharp you are, you will get in some choke holding circumstances that will cause you to wonder, am I going going to get out of this? Am I going to make it? Who is God speaking to right now? You're in a situation that is threatening, a situation that is perilous, and you're wondering how are you going to come out if that's you and you are at wit's end, if your wisdom is being swallowed up because you don't know what to do. I'll raise the question. What do you do when you don't know what to do and you've done all you can do and you've bumped into cake do. I'm going to do that one more time because every now and then uh, we do all we can uh, and we bump into what we can't. Who am I talking to? Who can say that's how I feel about some loved one in my life? I'm doing all I can, uh, but I want more for them than they want for themselves. I'm trying, but guess what? I'm handcuffed by helplessness. I'm trying on my job, but even on my job, I got co-workers who are trying to undermine and sabotage everything I'm doing. I got, I'm trying everywhere I can to get my act together financially. I'm getting my hustle on, but it seems like the month gets longer and my money gets shorter. What can you do when you don't know what to do? Ain't much you can do and you keep bumping into can. You are at wit's end and if I'm in your Kool-Aid 
calling out your flavor. This text has your name all over it because this text says that when you find yourself in a situation that is insufferable, that has you wondering how are you going to make it, you've done all you can, you keep bumping into can. Look what the text says. The text says when you are at wit's end, that's when God goes to work on your behalf and when God goes to work, God says, watch me show up in your city. Christian West Baptist Church.